Live shot from Royal Jubilee Hospital, where nearly 100 years of history is being dismantled brick by brick. Three outdated and empty buildings are being demolished, but it seems that not everybody inside is ready to go quietly. A construction worker is still trying to come to grips with what he saw inside one of the towers. And the Vancouver Island Health Authority says his spooky jubilee story is not the first. CTV's Andrew Johnson spent the day at the hospital. He joins us live from the work site. Andrew. Hudson, we came here today to file the story on the demolition of these historic buildings and to take a look at some of the neat artifacts that have been found inside the walls. But then the project manager mentioned offhand one of his guys had seen something else altogether. A Second World War era hospital tower is no match for the hungry jaws of an excavator and another piece of Victoria's history comes crumbling down at Royal Jubilee Hospital. They were old, they were in very um, poor shape and certainly beyond their ability to be used for acute care. The oldest of the three buildings were built in 1925. Now two of the towers have been reduced to rubble and the third won't be standing for long. Crews have salvaged all kinds of artifacts from the old buildings, from bricks to beautiful handmade solid oak rails, a door, and perhaps the least glamorous find, a vintage bedpan flusher. Hidden beneath a wall inside a building that housed a maternity ward in the 1920s, they found this, two children playing with a puppy. Ron Fisher saw something else three months ago. He didn't tell anybody about it at first, thought they'd laugh. Fisher saw a clean-shaven man wearing blue jeans. He thought it was his co-worker, Doug. It wasn't. I got up and checked out into the hallway, and there was nobody there. Checked the elevator, nobody was in the elevator. Came back, started working again, and, uh, and uh, I saw somebody enter the room. Um, again, thinking it was my co-worker. Turned around, looked, and uh, nobody there again. You know, you're, you're thinking that uh, um, in the back of your mind, you know, maybe you're not quite, uh, quite all there, or, or are you there? Is somebody playing a game with you? And when you realize that there is no game being played, then uh, yeah, it's it's a little, uh, it's an uneasy feeling. The project manager did a little digging. There is a, a kind of a legend about a ghost coming from South Three that uh, came from a doctor who. Uh, actually died in his office on, in uh, just around from the elevators on the third floor. Right near where Ron was working that day. We asked Viha about the sighting and it turns out someone sent the health authority these photos taken of the then still standing buildings a few months ago. The photographer says in the early evening she noticed a shape would appear in one window then move to another. In one image you can make out what appears to be someone's face. Now the buildings are gone. Maybe their former inhabitants will pop up next door at the new patient care center. We'll keep you posted. Hudson, there is one other popular ghost story that's made the rounds at Royal Jubilee. Nurses in training used to live at Begbie Hall, and over the years, security guards and staff members say at night they'd see a nurse matron roaming the halls, an older woman dressed in uniform carrying a lantern. The story went she was just making sure the nurses were tucked in bed safely at night. Incidentally, Shannon Marshall, who works in VHA Communications at Begbie, says you won't catch her in that building after 7 p.m. She has no desire to make any new friends. And one more thing, our live eye operator tonight behind the camera, Jason Hallman, says he believes he was born in one of the three buildings that have been torn down, so they truly are historic. I was going to say a lot of lives lived and a lot of history in those buildings. A lot of stories. All right, Andrew Johnson, thank you. You're welcome.